Switch, a TV series that left an indelible mark on the industry, brings forth a mix of humor, shock, and sadness. Wondering what enduring qualities make it a lasting symbol? Stay tuned for a ride through funny, shocking, and sad facts that unravel the layers of this classic show. Have you ever pondered over the lesser-known anecdotes that add a fascinating twist to it? The answers might surprise you. Keep your eyes peeled for intriguing tidbits as we journey through the series. Now, let's dive into cherished memories and personal experiences with the show. What made it special for you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear them. Get ready for a roller coaster of revelations as we explore together. Don't miss out on the funny, shocking, and sad facts that await. Share your thoughts and stories below. Experience the magic of the TV series and uncover hidden gems that made it unforgettable. In the aftermath of The Sting, a television series titled Switch emerged, initially charming its audience with a storyline centered around a detective agency led by the seasoned Eddie Albert and the suave Robert Wagner. Albert, a former policeman, portrayed a character who had successfully apprehended Wagner's professional con man in the past. Sharon Gless played the role of a secretary, occasionally getting involved in the cases, while comedian Charlie Callas made appearances. The pilot episode exuded charm, featuring a delightful flute-played theme song reminiscent of early jazz. However, as the series progressed, it underwent a transformation in its second season, devolving into a more conventional cop show. The transition seemed to coincide with challenges in maintaining the complexity of executing elaborate cons within the confines of a weekly one-hour format. Robert Wagner showcased his acting prowess, exuding a smarmy charm that made him a convincing con man. His character's interactions with Eddie Albert, who brought decades of comedic and dramatic experience to the screen, formed a dynamic interplay. Albert's character resisted Wagner's plans, especially when it came to financial matters. The show boasted an array of guest stars, including a pre-Charlie's Angels Jacqueline Smith, Joan Collins, and John Daner. The initial episodes captured the essence of a charming and promising series akin to the early days of Matt Houston, which blended humor with a focus on the protagonist's private investigation office and ranch. Unfortunately, both it and Switch underwent a similar fate, transitioning from clever and different to run-of-the-mill cop shows in their respective second seasons. The collaboration between Wagner and Albert, both seasoned professionals, initially held promise as demonstrated in the early episodes. However, the shift towards a more conventional format diluted its uniqueness. The alteration of the theme song also marked a disheartening departure from the initial charm. Reflecting on shows like it and Matt Houston, it is striking how quickly clever and distinctive concepts infused with humor can succumb to becoming commonplace. In its case, the potential embodied by the pairing of Wagner and Albert was regrettably overshadowed would by the show's transformation into just another cop drama. Long before Robert Wagner and Sharon Gless became part of the cast, both were lifelong Eddie Albert fans from their childhood. Pete Ryan and Malcolm Argos, central characters in the series, were con men. The show, however, met its end after the third season, with the last episode airing on July 9, 1978. Following its cancellation, Robert Wagner returned to television in August 1979 in the pilot movie of Heart to Heart, co-starring Stephanie Powers and Lionel Stander. Similar to The Rockford Files, the TV series Switch, produced by Universal Television, shared a familiar investigative theme. Frank McBride, a former police officer, returned from retirement to work as a private investigator. The show's premise resonated with the audience, exploring the dynamics of crime solving. Sharon Glass, despite initially feeling intimidated by Eddie Albert, formed a genuine fondness for him during their collaboration. Their on-screen chemistry added depth to the series, enhancing the overall viewing experience. The show follow would con men Pete Ryan and Malcolm Argos as central characters, navigating through their deceptive schemes. However, after a three-season run, the series concluded on July 9, 1978, marking the end of Switch. Post-cancellation, Robert Wagner swiftly returned to television in August 1979, featuring in the pilot movie of Heart to Heart alongside Stephanie Powers and Lionel Stander. These insights shed light on the show's connections and its fate, contributing to the early careers of Robert Wagner, Sharon Gless, and Eddie Albert in the television landscape. Switch, a television series from 1975, featured three theme songs during its run. 
the initial Stu Phillips theme was swiftly replaced and relegated to background music. Ed Sauter contributed a theme around the second season, featured only once. For the remaining episodes, first season executive producer Glenn Alarson anonymously penned the theme. One distinctive aspect of the series was the character Frank McBride's acrophobia. This fear of heights added a unique dimension to his role as a former police officer turned private investigator. Notably, Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner stand as the sole actors to grace every episode of the series. Their consistent presence throughout the show's run contributed significantly to its stability. In essence, the multifaceted musical journey, McBride's acrophobia, and the unwavering commitment of Albert and Wagner to every episode shaped the unique narrative of Switch, making it a memorable part of television history. Eddie Albert, aged 69 at the series' onset, played a pivotal role in Switch. Following her departure from Marcus Welby, MD, Sharon Gless secured the role of Maggie Philbin in the show. Notably, Albert and Robert Wagner, who shared the screen in The Longest Day, brought their seasoned talents to the series. Featuring a diverse musical journey, Switch showcased the fear of heights in Frank McBride's character, adding a distinctive layer to his role as a former police officer turned private investigator. Remarkably, Albert and Wagner, the sole consistent actors throughout, contributed significantly to its stability. Their unwavering commitment shaped the show's unique narrative, making it a memorable part of television history. The chemistry between the actors and the exploration of McBride's character, haunted by his fear, added depth to the series. Albert and Wagner's performances resonated with audiences, creating a lasting impact on the show's legacy. Following the conclusion of the series, Eddie Albert and Sharon Gless made a notable appearance in the show Crash. Meanwhile, in the final season, Pete Ryan took up residence above Malcolm Argo's bar. An interesting episode featured Ryan using the word golly reminiscent of Green Acres, a show in which Eddie Albert had previously worked. In Crash, Albert and Gless continued their television journey after the end of Switch. Notably, Pete Ryan's relocation to an apartment above Malcolm Argo's bar added a new dynamic in the show's concluding season. Additionally, the episode where Ryan uttered the familiar word golly connected back to Green Acres, showcasing a subtle nod to Eddie Albert's earlier work. These snippets of post-cancellation and final season details add depth to the overall understanding of Switch, providing a glimpse into the cast's activities and the series' evolving dynamics. Premiering on Tuesday, September 9, 1975, at 10,000 p.m., EDT 9,000 p.m., PDT on CBS, the show shifted Hawaii 5 to Fridays at 9,000 p.m., ET 8,000 p.m., PT on the same network. It featured Frank McBride, a retired police officer turned private investigator, and gained traction with its investigative theme. During one episode, he took on a paternal role for Pete, emphasizing Eddie Albert's significant age difference, being 24 years older than Robert Wagner. As the series progressed into its second and third seasons, the storylines became lackluster, ultimately leading to its cancellation. Following the conclusion of the show, Eddie Albert and Sharon Glass ventured into Crash. Meanwhile, in the final season, Pete Ryan found a new abode above Malcolm Argo's bar. An intriguing episode saw him using the word golly, reminiscent of Eddie Albert's earlier work in Green Acres. The post-cancellation activities of the cast and unique moments in the final season further contribute to the overall understanding. Switch, part of Universal Television's 1978 cancellation spree, endured a three-season run alongside six other casualties. Columbo Kojak, The Six Million Dollar Man Beretta, The Bionic Woman, and Ba Ba Black Sheep. Among these, Columbo held the record with seven seasons, while others had varying durations. Notably, the show faced its conclusion after a modest three-season stint. Eddie Albert, known for his diverse roles, showcased both good-natured and villainous characters throughout his acting career. His versatility added depth to the series, where he played a pivotal role. During its three-season tenure, Switch presented a unique episode featuring a clip show with only three guest actors. All scenes were set in the title bar, offering a distinctive format within the show. This particular episode provided a condensed overview of its narrative. In summary, the show's fate in 1978 marked one of Universal Television's strategic cancellations and Eddie Albert's versatility enhanced its dynamics. The inclusion of a clip show with a limited cast showcased the creativity within its three-season run. These facts contribute to understanding its place in television history.